Hi, I'm Tamitha Scove with the Solar Storm Forecast Update for September 4th. A lot has happened since that last forecast. Remember that filament we were worried about erupting? Well, there it goes, and it is Earth-directed. We're expecting impact on the 6th, but more about that in a second. First, let me remind you that Region 2144 is still active, and it is just about to rotate into view, and it is still popping M flares, so we will see more activity as the week goes by. Now, returning to that solar storm, this is Enlil, our prediction model. Top panel's density, bottom panel's velocity, and you can see that cloud coming toward us. Impact time is scheduled to be early on the 6th, so expected it looks like it's going to be a direct hit. Now if you remember that flare from the backside in my prior forecast, it did launch a proton radiation storm which we are feeling here at Earth and those levels continue to rise as we're waiting for this other storm to hit us. So we might actually pop into uh, an S1 radiation storm level by about the 6th before these things start subsiding. And remember these things do affect uh, high latitudes so you might actually have some issues with GPS navigation if you happen to be up in these regions. Switching to our solar storm conditions and aurora possibilities over this next week, we do have that solar storm that's incoming on the 6th, and we still have a lot of activity going on. So at high latitudes, there's about a 20 to 25 percent chance of a major storm coming around the 5th or the 6th and possibly into the 7th. At mid-latitudes, it's a little bit less active, but you could have some aurora possibilities starting around the 6th. Turning to our solar flare and particle radiation storm outlooks for the next few days, you can see NOAA has actually upped our M-class threat level to 35 percent, and it may May increase uh, through the latter part of the week as we get a better look at old region 2139 to see if it also has strong flare potential still. Uh, we also are in elevated levels of radiation that I just showed earlier and that risk could actually increase up to an S1 storm level right around the 6th before it begins to subside. So this week looks to have gotten really exciting really fast. We do have that solar storm that's on its way, and we also have those two new regions, region 2144, which has now been re renamed 2155, and the old region 2139, which has yet to show its face on the east limb. And those two, if they continue to be M-flare producers, could bring us some radio blackouts and some uh, GPS issues, as well as that solar storm, which should bring us some GPS issues starting around the 6th when it hits, uh, and may possibly into the 7th. But it also could bring us chances for Aurora, uh, so those solar storm chasers out there, get your cameras ready. We might have another good show. I'm Tamitha Scove. Thank you for watching.